I'm Allie from East Point Sports, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble your Go Gator disc golf set. So to get started, we're going to place a pole cap on the ends of the small yellow pole. You can see that one end is covered with a weight, so on the open end, put your cap in. Just squeeze and push. Repeat for all three. In some cases, these might be pre-installed, so just check if they're there. Once that's complete, you're going to take a weight and place it over the small yellow pole with the cap down. Then you'll need a four-way connector and you'll insert it onto the top. When you're doing this, you want to make sure that the smaller end of the four-way connector is being inserted onto the top of the pole. You'll do the same thing for all three. Next, you're going to take each extra large yellow pole and place it into the top of your four-way connector. Make sure they're in there nice and snug. Then you're going to take what you've assembled already, place another weight over the top, and insert the three-way connector onto the top of your pole. When doing this, make sure that the joints are facing the same way. Repeat for all three. Once your weights are on and your three-way connectors are assembled, take your large green pole and insert it into the bottom back joint. You want to repeat this for all three poles, making sure that you're placing the pole into the same joint every time. Once your large green poles are in, you can then move on to placing the small green poles and the joint up top. Again, making sure that it's in the back so it matches up with the large green pole. Once again, repeating for all three poles. Once they're in there nice and snug, you can then go ahead and connect all three assemblies. Make sure your poles are secure by checking all the joints and giving them an extra push. Now you're ready to start your net assembly. Take your net and hold it so the shorter side is facing up. Then you can take the strings and thread them through each joint at the top. Once the string is through, you want to tie a knot at the end. Repeat for all three sides. Once all your strings are threaded through the top joint and there's a knot on each end, lift your weight up to the top and thread the string through the slot, letting the weight drop and hold the string tight. Repeat for all three sides. Then you want to repeat this step for the bottom strings, threading them through the bottom joints and tying a knot on each end. Once all your knots are tied, once again lift up the weight Thread the string through the slot and let the weight hold it. Once your net is assembled, then you can move on to the pocket. Open your pocket up and find the elastic bands and hook them onto the bottom of each joint. Then you just have to repeat these steps for the second target. Yeah. <laughs> and you're ready to play.